Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week in the studio, never got to this last week, but I'm gonna prep this substrate. Went out of town, so it didn't get to the rings, but if it warms up outside, I will be pulling some more filati and making more rings. That's very weather dependent. Didn't cut this piece down last week, so cutting that down for a new project. And over here, I would like to finish the background on this piece. And I have actually have my hibiscus under some glass in here so I can sort of get the same feel because they're the same size and I'm going to use the same frame. So that's about it. My husband and I were recently able to take a trip to St. Petersburg, Florida, where the Imagine Museum is. It is a museum of glass art, mostly cast and blown. So I was there to see if there were any mosaics, but I really enjoyed the other glass work that I saw there. This was one of my husband's favorite pieces, and this is some flame work, I believe. So my husband really enjoyed that one. And then this was the first mosaic I saw, a piece of looks like shattered tempered glass. And I'm assuming that she must have taped it to get it all back in place like that, because that's kind of amazing. And then my husband really liked these pieces where it was all glass, but it looked like a plastic bag full of water. Kind of amazing. There were a lot of these paperweights, like a ton of them. And I'm unfortunately did not get the name of the artist that made these, but they were amazing. I think maybe some different artists did them. Here's another piece of uh, glasswork that was cool. And these were my very favorite. The I've only seen these online, so to see them in person was quite amazing. I could not use a video in the museum, so I just have these stills. They're by Pavlos Mavro Matidis from CACO3. And there were three different pieces, the one with all gold, the silver and gold, and then one with blue. Amazing, beautiful work. We're at the Botanical Gardens, and look what I found. I'm seeing more wildlife on this than I am seeing on this little wildlife trail. Look what I, look what I found here. This is at the Botanical Gardens in Largo, Florida. Someone made this. I think it took a long time. Oh my word. Look at that. It's a lot of work on ceramic, uh, except for the gems on the edge. It's a nice way to do the edging all the same all the way around. Someone's put some camellias on there and they're dying, but there's a fish. Look at that. Yeah. There's my husband. Here's a bench. There's a whole bunch more of these little mosaics leading to this courtyard area. And then there's more in there. Lastly, we headed to the Safety Harbor Art and Music Center where we met Heather Richardson. All right, I'm ready. Look at this, it's a bunch of mirror. Yeah, so yeah, this that. is a, a building that uh, has been here for four years. We built this building and we had over 300 volunteers over about a three-year period of time help us build these panels actually at a different location called whimsy land which is our sister property which is a really fun place and um so there's i forget how many panels are on the building but it's a lot <laughs> and um we would meet every thursday and we just put out panels and mirror and tile and people what's just, the backing on the panel it's a hardy backer board oh, okay half inch hardy backer board yep cool and then just black grout on everything looks good and um, yeah the inside is also done in some places like there's still room for more um i teach classes so these are some of my students pieces that just did classes and this is our studio, our mosaic studio at the moment, so I give classes and whatnot in here, so it's a really fun space. It is fun. And I just sort of dismantled the classroom this morning because we have a bunch of stuff coming up, but normally I have, you know, 100 
hundred boxes of tile, all different kinds. Oh yeah. You do a lot of handmade tile. What kind of stuff are you doing over here? Um, those are some commission pieces I'm doing for someone, the big round ones. Oh wow. And then these are student pieces again. We were just at the botanical gardens down in Largo. Did you do any of that work there? Um, I only repaired something there. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a bench there. I saw a couple hard. benches, yeah. yeah Oh yeah, bottle cap. Whoa, I can't even capture it all. Cool. On the ceiling. Oh, and even the back of the building here. And look at all the, the roof up there. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. The formal bathroom with the chandelier, of course, and more bottle cap on the ceiling. Yeah, those are done by some local girls also that are cyclers, so you can oh, see yeah. the preparation of the bicycle stuff. Super cool. Yeah. Huh. They're really fun. Everybody's got their things. The side of the building, too. There's where we went in. Yeah, and when you're and Heather said everything was donated for these panels. The materials. And here's the other side of it. Kind of messy, but look at all of the mirror on there. Crazy. They're building a new thing over here. And it's pretty artsy here. Look at that car. purples and pinks for the morning glory and this is probably the brightest one that I have which is an aqua purple pink opal streaky from Armstrong these other ones just don't have the color pop that I'm looking for the morning glory is basically fuchsia and bright bright purple which I just can't achieve with regular stained glass. So what I have done is go to a PBO Vitria glass paint in Bengal pink and in frosted mauve, which is the dark purple. And I have had these a while because I've actually used them before to paint the glass. So the first step is to paint the glass and let it dry for 24 hours. So that is where I am right now. It has paint and the other side is the side. I put the paint side down, I'll put the glass side up. But when it's in the oven baking, the paint side will go up. So I have some that I put on very thickly, the purple and the pink. And then this one, I did uh, a little bit of, I guess, ombre or whatever, making it transition from purple to pink. And I put a lighter coat on. So because it's a lighter coat, it's translucent a little bit and so my base that I was working on I had to paint the base white because if I didn't they would be really dark it's just a little bit different if I put this over something dark it's just too dark I wanted it to be a bright pop so it has to have white behind it so I primed the back of this with white and I'm about to bake this and finish up my morning glory that's it was going for a color that was in between these two and I think this is perfect. I really like it. I think I'm gonna to have to make a pendant with that. That's it. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.